Anyway, we have some time to do shopping. Gosh, it's really been a long time since we've been able to relax. Huh. Well met, partner. I knew something great was going to happen when I woke up in such a good mood today. Even this weather can't put a damper on the demoiselle's mood. It's a pleasure to see you both again. Oh, hey, Navia! It's been a few days. Paimon's already started to miss you. Oh, now that I believe. I'm easy to work with and always bring home the bacon. Who wouldn't treasure having a partner like me? <laughs> Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. What have you been busy with since the trial? <sighs> it's just been one thing after the other. I've been making non-stop trips between Poisson and the courts in Sen. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. We never held a memorial when he first died, since everyone knew that even if we held one back then, no one was going to come. This time, though, everyone in Poisson, and even many people from the court all attended. Ah, so his name's definitely been cleared now. That's what we like to hear. It's been the dearest wish of Demoiselle all along. <laughs> that blasted stubborn fool. I was right to put my faith in him. I'm so glad I didn't give up on the case all those years ago. Oh, by the way, I ran into Charlotte just after I left the memorial service. Uh, well, maybe it'd be more accurate to say I knew she would be there. And there was no way she'd just let me go. Huh? So you know Charlotte too? The Charlotte? Journalist from the Steambird? Yeah, way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was all over me. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I believe the story was called The True Heart of Darkness, Secret Tales of the Yellow Rose. To be fair though, it was a really flattering feature. <laughs> so, we've been on pretty good terms ever since. She was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece on the serial disappearances case. Oh yeah, she told us about that. She's always been super interested in that case, so now her wish has finally come true too! Anyway, I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the opera house with the critical evidence, that you both sound really cool. <laughs> now that's another thing to look forward to. We trust Charlotte's skills with a pen for sure. Oh, and in other news, I also took Clorand out for a meal. Oh, are you two on better terms now? Mm, while you were investigating Vache's headquarters, Clorand gave testimony on my father's behalf. It was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. I wanted to thank her. I mean, there's also no point in being awkward all the time, so we took the chance to reconcile with each other. Oh, that's great! Paimon also thought Clorand wasn't actually a bad person. It's always good to have more friends. Anyway, now that the case has finally been solved, perhaps it will slowly begin to fade from the public consciousness. Oh, actually, there's still one last thing I need to do. What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave, and tell him the truth of what happened, as well as how it all ended. And on top of that, just how much people still look up to him, to this day. That includes me, too. Miss Navia. Indeed. Person. Sure thing. I'd like you two to share the moment with me. After all, without you, there might not have been such a positive ending. And in that case, everyone, let's be off. Considering the recent weather, we'll be lucky if we can reach Poisson before dark. Yeah, you're right. It's been raining non-stop for a few days now.
This is where my father's... Huh? There's someone there already. Hmm? Isn't that Durvalet? Why would the Chief Justice be here? Huh? Navia? My apologies. I should have asked before coming to pay my respects. Don't say that. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, I was trying to say there's no need for you to apologize. I wanted to show my father how much I've grown. But still, I doubt I've grown to the point that even the Chief Justice would feel compelled to apologize to me over and over. In that case, I will stop apologizing for now. Hmm. You really could use some pointers on understanding human emotions, Monsieur Nervillette. In any case, why did you come to Poisson? Hmm. Well, ever since that day, I've been turning a question over and over in my head. Just what is justice, anyway? There was once a time when I didn't want to believe that there could be anything more important to humans than life itself. Oh, rather than that, it's probably more truthful to say I didn't believe humans were capable of resisting the most basic instinct of living things. That they could rebel against their own nature, or consider certain things to be more important than their own lives. Which is also why I didn't stop your father from beginning that fateful duel. I believed that a truly innocent man would never throw away his life like that. That there was nothing, should have been nothing more important than one's own continued survival. But Mr. Callus proved me utterly and decisively wrong. If not for his sacrifice, the serial disappearances case would have remained unsolved to this day. Mr. Callus made the choice he did for his daughter, for his associates, and for many people completely unrelated to him. And in the end, from a certain perspective, one could say that he did it all for the sake of justice. A justice that's higher than life itself. So, you asked me why I came here. I just wanted to say my apologies to Mr. Callis in person. I should have noticed all of this much sooner. This regret has filled me with a sadness that has haunted me for days. That high and mighty chair in the opera Epicles indeed insulates one from many important things. Spina di Rosula, thank you so much for your hard work and perseverance. Uh, I'm sorry for being mad at you before. So, you're actually one of those types that's cold on the outside, but pretty thoughtful on the inside, huh? That reminds me of Silver, one of my guys. Sorry about that. Self-expression is not one of my strong suits. <sighs> Didn't I just say you don't need to apologize? Ah, so Navia and Nervalette seem to have made their peace as well. Let's not disturb them for now. We can wait till after they're done. <sighs> Paimon's never paid respects at someone's grave before. Uh, did Paimon do anything rude there? Huh? Oh, Paimon didn't know that was a thing? Why? Why? Paimon doesn't know what she would do if she can't fly! Oh no! Paimon hopes Miss Navia won't be too mad! Anyway... Nervalette is still standing around there. It's not often that we can catch him alone like this, so... Why don't we go talk to him for a bit? If we can't talk to Lady Farina, we can at least talk to him, right?
Astrologers must rid themselves of material desires. Only by ridding oneself of clutter can one see the true world around them. It's you two. Did Miss Navia invite you to come pay your respects to her father? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Uh, and Please feel free. Though outsiders, you helped us solve one of the greatest mysteries in Fontaine, and it would. Your sibling, if she ever stepped. Is there. My apology. However. For many years, as a divine, not only, which is all to s <sighs> I was not a, in any case, based on for, while we do in, if we do, if you ask, is there, that the seal, does that appropriate, that's right, yes, up, rumors have, a prophecy, two parts of the, speaking, if the rumors were, but, is there, a, so, truthfully, that, there used to be a special, s most of, div huh. But today, the, what Vashe discovered must have been some. Huh. Indeed. Why, w to be frank, is there. Very well. It will soon be time for me to. You Crime and villainy do not have the day off. Alright, huh? Paimon just noticed that the rain has stopped. Place ready for us there, didn't she? 